welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking about empties. Yes, empties. I have been collecting in this big Sephora bag that I got during the last VIB sale. I had it all in like oh, not so pretty bag, so I had to put it in something kind of nice, you know. Um, I've been collecting for some time and I thought, well, let me let the bag get a little bit fuller before I do the video, but then I thought, no, because I have to give you guys my thoughts and opinions about every single product that I pull out of this bag. So I want to keep everything as short, sweet, and concise as possible. Keep this video on the shorter side because mama can talk. Especially when it comes to products and makeup and stuff. Just makes me happy. I will say though, I don't have a ton of makeup items because it takes me ages through, to go through an actual makeup product itself. Um, except for like, of course, uh, lip gloss, I do go through those pretty quickly, mascaras, things like that, but other products because I have so much makeup items in my collection that it's hard for me to use up any one particular product. So I will try to do my best um, to kind of breeze through as much of this as possible and kind of give you my thoughts on whether or not I've repurchased, if I'm using the product now still, or if I, you know, tried something different or whatnot, I will kind of you know, fill you guys in. So we're just we're just gonna chat like friends, you know, just how we always do. It's probably not gonna be in any particular order. Um, yeah, I, I'm not I'm not organized for this today. <laughs> but regardless, we're just gonna kind of jump into this. Uh, the first product that I picked out was the Jergens Daily Moisture Lotion. This is supposed to hydrate and smooth, hydrates for 24 hours for visibly smoother skin. And I um, have the very dry skin one now. Um, I think it's orange, I think, that I have. Uh, I do love this. This is like my lotion that I go to. I always try to see if I can find the one that says 25% more or like the bonus sizes because they're the same price, but you get just a little bit more product. And um, I don't get a lot of like girly scented lotions. And I think I've mentioned this before because I shared my lotion with my husband and sometimes my son uses it. Although my son has more sensitive skin and I try to use more baby type products on him. Um, but because we all use it, I try to get the biggest container that I can find. And um, I don't get anything that smells too kind of girly because, you know, men can be a little bit um, a pain in the ass, I should say, when it comes to stuff like that. Uh, the next thing is my dry shampoo, the Dove Refresh and Care. This is the newest one. And it's um, got the green on it and it says Detox and Purify. Now, I do love the Dove Dry Shampoo. Do I have another one in here? I don't know. Um, I do love the Dove Dry Shampoo. It's the one that I have repurchased the most out of all the drugstore brands and even high-end. I do love this, and I did pick up the Detox and Purify one just to see if it was different, but honestly, it's the same thing. If you've used the original, there's nothing different about it. I don't see anything that's different. I mean, it cleans your hair, it removes um, excess oil, I use this pretty much on a regular basis because my hair has the red tones in it, although it looks really dark on camera. It is more, especially out in the sunlight, it's more of a um, like a deeper kind of vivid red shade. And I don't wash my hair very often, every three to four days. Um, so I do have to rely on dry shampoo a lot. And again, this one, the Detox and Purify, is the same stuff as the original one. So there's nothing different about it. I think it's just a marketing thing that they do to try to get people to buy it. But the original one works the exact same way. Speaking of dry shampoo, I picked up the Pantene one because I wanted to try other ones from the drugstore and see if I could find something that I could use when um, I want to try something different because I do get bored with products, honestly, and I've been using this for so many months, months, and I should say for a few years now, <laughs> um, and I wanted to try something different. Now, I do like the uh, dry shampoo from Pantene. I think this is a really good one. However, there is still quite a bit of product in it. Um, the sprayer doesn't work anymore. I don't know what happened to the sprayer, but I can feel that there is, I would say, at least a good week's worth left of product in here. And um, yeah, nothing is coming out. So shame on you, Pantene. Um, but this is actually a really good one. So if you try it and you have better luck than I do, if yours doesn't get kind of clogged, I don't know. I even put it under water to kind of see if I could get it to come out, but it's just not... Like I can hear, I can feel some, oh it smells so good. I can feel the air coming through, but there's like nothing product wise coming out. So unfortunately, I don't think I'll repurchase this because I don't wanna have to go through this. I feel like I'm wasting money there. Whereas with the Dove one, it never gets clogged. The sprayer, it just comes out beautifully every time. So 
I think that's what's gonna knock this for me, but this is, it was good, I liked it. But you let me down. All right, um, the next product is the Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water. I have one already that I just opened up recently. I do like this, I like to use this to remove any residue. I also use it to remove my makeup around my eyes. Although I do a double cleansing method, so I use a cleansing oil, which I have one here to show you. I do cleansing um, like oils first or cleansing balms and then go in with my normal skincare cleanser to get everything off and really give myself a thorough cleanse, especially when I do wear makeup. But this is supposed to be just a very gentle makeup remover. It's, it's good to have if you have a beauty room or you know an, a little vanity it's good to have stuff like this because you can use this to clean up mistakes for eyeliner um, any fallout under the under eye area before doing concealer it's a good product I've repurchased this multiple times and really like it oh here's the um, cleansing oil this is the Neutrogena um, what does it say light cleansing oil I don't know there's a sticker um, I got this on clearance at Walmart for two dollars um, they had a ton of clearance items and I saw this and there was quite a few of these and I do have just a tiny bit left I did buy a new one um, But what was really strange was that they had some that were two dollars But then in the skincare aisle with the Neutrogena stuff they had tons of these with the regular price of What it says was 847 so it is a little bit pricey um, for a drugstore cleansing oil but it actually works you get 4.5 fluid ounces and um, it does remove all of the makeup and I like to use this especially on my eyes because I used to use a lot of makeup wipes and that sort of tugs and pulls sometimes some makeup wipes would kind of burn and sting my eyes and it's not really good for your eye area anyways which is the most sensitive skin on the face so I don't like using those anymore and I noticed that they were kind of making my lashes fall out maybe I was being too rough with it but this I just take a couple pumps in my hand massage it in and just sort of work this in circular motions and melts everything right off and it works really well to remove makeup and it's a drugstore version of like the Clinique um, take the day off cleansing oil um, but it works it's great it's a nice cleansing oil I wouldn't rely solely on this to give you a thorough cleanse like remove makeup and cleanse I wouldn't rely on this to clean your skin thoroughly I would say use this to take the makeup off and then go in with a cleanser and make sure everything is off especially especially if you're acne prone because mama's got some problems going on right now and um, yeah thorough cleansing is very very important all right, so the next one is Paula's Choice. This is the Skin Balancing Pore Reducing Toner for Normal Oily and Combination Skin. It looks like that. I have tried Paula's Choice before. Some things are good. Some things do not work well with my skin. I remember the beginning of last year. Um, it must have been around this time that I purchased the Resist products, all full size. And if you've been following me on Snapchat for a while, you may have remembered me sharing with you guys all the full size stuff. I spent like 170 bucks or some crazy amount like that buying everything full size because I ordered little sample packets which I love that Paula's Choice does that so you can try them they're usually 50 cents to a dollar little foil packets enough for maybe one two uses depending on what it is you could probably get three uses out of it and then you can commit to it full size so I used it and some of the things I really loved and some of the things um, just no 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 um, made my skin like red around my nose breakouts all through my chin um, and I, that's when I decided to go and get my doctor to up the dose or percentage strength on my retin-A because the, what, what I was using wasn't working. This pore reducing toner does work um, and for a while I thought this was really great and then I used other things. I tried like a medical grade toner and then when I came back to this I noticed some like redness happening. Um, just more redness than usual and... I don't know if this is what's causing it. Maybe it's the, an ingredient that Paula's Choice puts in their skincare products that just doesn't work for me. But if it works for you, it's, it's a really good line because it is affordable. It's, this is 6.4 fluid ounces for this toner, and I want to say this was like 20 bucks. So it's really inexpensive. The Resist line from Paula's Choice is a little bit more pricey, and it's more money, not too much more than the regular Paula's Choice stuff. But the Resist is more anti-aging and it's supposed to be a little bit higher quality maybe possibly. Um, so you do pay more for the Resist products and you get a little less than just the regular, you know, products. So um, I um, don't see myself purchasing Paula's Choice anymore. Another skincare product. I got, actually I got some, I got a few skincare things. Um, this is the First Aid Beauty, the Facial Radiance Pads. Comes in a jar like this. It also comes in a smaller travel size um, container there's 60 pads in here this is the um, exfoliating is supposed to help exfoliate tone and brighten alcohol free which I like and safe for sensitive skin now a lot of 
skincare products for acne prone skin or just oily skin in general have a lot of alcohol which is very bad for the skin. There's some types of alcohol that are used as carriers for certain ingredients and they're required in certain formulas to make them apply better and whatnot. But then there are some like denatured alcohol, SD alcohol, and just plain old the word alcohol is actually bad and could potentially lead to cell death and damage with continued use. So I am really cautious about using stuff like that on my skin even though I do have acne prone skin. I've been using things that help sort of clean my skin and help exfoliate but also products that don't have any alcohol. So that's what I liked about these and it says hypoallergenic, fragrance free which is another big thing if you're sensitive you don't want fragrance. Fragrance shouldn't really be in skincare anyways. Um, I don't see any benefit to the skin with having a fragrance in it but some brands do, some bougie brands do as well. Um, but this has glycolic acid, lactic acid, cucumber water, um, it's got lemon peel extract, hyaluronic acid, orange fruit extract, it's got aloe juice in it, aloe leaf juice. So it's got a lot of good things. Um, I, I think it's okay. I think it helps kind of remove any excess um, makeup that I may have had on from the night before, which that has happened. I'm, I'm guilty of that. Um, I didn't really feel anything, like I've mentioned before when I use like lactic acid, that one is pretty gentle. Glycolic acid, you feel some tingle and something happening and that's what I like because I wanna know that it's working. This, I didn't feel anything. It's like rubbing a pad on my face with just water. So I don't know. If you've used these and you um, love them, please share down below if you've used them, if you hate them or you know, just you know, just share your thoughts on it if you've tried it because it's okay. I don't see myself repurchasing it. It was affordable though. I, it wasn't too, too expensive. I think that line in general is pretty affordable anyways. All right, another skin product. This is the Nivea In Shower Body Lotion. I have shared with you guys before how much I love this stuff. I use the one that says for very dry skin. The one that's just for dry skin, I don't really care for. It's not that hydrating, and it's like, what's the point if it's not gonna really do anything? So the very dry skin one, it'll tell you right across the, the bottom of the bottle that it says very dry, it says almond oil. I do like this, um, and I use this. I have one currently in my uh, bathroom right now. I like to have these and I do buy them pretty frequently. Um, the only thing I don't like is how it leaves the shower floor kind of slippery. So just be careful if you're going to use that. Give your shower floor a thorough rinse um, before you get out because this stuff is, is slippery. And um, I try to be very careful with it. Like once I put it in my hand, I quickly like do one of these numbers so that it doesn't get all over the place because I've been kind of not very careful with it and it, it gets on the floor and then I step on it and I'm like kind of feeling like I'm slipping around yes and it tells you it says warning about the slipping on the back so just I'm just letting you guys know it's good but just be careful oh a soap hands up hey um this is the bath and body works cozy vanilla cream I don't even know if they make the scent anymore um my sister-in-law had sent me a ton a ton of hand soaps um for my birthday one year which I I love the bath and body works soaps the foamy ones so good this smell is unreal um, and I have a ton of these and I started collecting these after I realized I need to be doing an empties video soon because I have some things and I threw away some of the ones that I already used up but this one was really good and they were like limited edition scents anyway so it's not like you could get it this one was good although I'm not a huge vanilla scent I do like them I think that they're great if you can get them on sale I think that they're worth it I think it's fun to have them I do wash my hands a lot though and I've been using antibacterial soap so that's why my hands have been so incredibly dry my polish is chipping my nails are like not as strong as they used to be because I wash my hands like every five seconds um, but I do like how these smell it smells so so good I have a shampoo this is the Joyco uh, color infused red It's for red hair I actually forgot to grab my conditioner I have an empty conditioner bottle for this line in my bathroom on the sink counter so I forgot to grab it but it looks exactly the same it says conditioner on it I've been using this for a very long time. I've had red tones in my hair for a very, very long time, many, many years. And I do think it works to keep the red from fading, although red is pretty tricky to keep. That's why I don't wash my hair every other day like I used to before going red. I do my hair probably every three to four days and lots of dry shampoo. Smith's Rose Bud Salve. I finally finished this last tiny little bit that I had when I showed you guys this in my Best in Beauty for Lips. There's absolutely nothing. And um, I do want to repurchase this. This is some amazing stuff. Okay, some mascaras. I have the Tarte Tardis Lash Paint Mascara. This is my favorite. Absolutely adore this. This is like 
this is my baby. I just opened up a new one and I have the mini one which is absolutely just, no. No, I've told you guys the story so many times. This one, if I would have stuck with just the mini size, I would have never purchased the full size because this one, I don't know what's wrong with this, but I kept it because I was cleaning out my drawers and I thought, let me just show you guys what it looks like, mini version. Um, if you wanna try it, just buy the full size. And um, if you don't like, you can obviously return it. I don't like the minis though. I think there's not some there's just something not right with the way they make the minis. More mascaras, the Maybelline the Rocket Volume. This is my go-to from the drugstore. This is of no surprise to you guys. I have always had a tube of this in my drawer. In rotation, I've had a tube for so many years. Like I constantly repurchase them when they're on sale or when I'm running low. I do have a backup as well. Love this, really great stuff. I have a concealer. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 10. I think it's about time. I don't know if you guys can, the camera's going to focus. It's about time. This thing has seen better days. This is so disgusting. I don't even want to put this around my face. But this is what I use for so many years. It's like, there's not much of anything in here. And I like this. I wear it in the shade 10 light. And it's actually a really good concealer from the drugstore. Another mascara, the Ma Maybelline, the Almay. Elmay One Coat Multi Benefit. I have it in full size, really liked it. And it gives you some natural um, definition, length, and um, a little bit of volume. Not as much as my Tarte one though. The length and volume with the Tarte is out of this world. But this one's actually really good and it gives you a very natural look to the lashes. So if you're into that, the um, One Coat Multi Benefit from Elmay is definitely an option. We're almost done. Hey. Um, the Maybelline Super Stay Better Skin Concealer. I have it in the shade light. There's absolutely nothing left in here, so I guess this means I like it. I do like this concealer a lot. It's very similar to my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer, so that would be the drugstore dupe to Urban Decay, and it's like a fraction of the cost. I think it's like seven or eight bucks. Really inexpensive, available pretty much anywhere you can find Maybelline. I love this stuff. It is an oil-free concealer, which is good. I use it to conceal spots. I primarily use it under the eye. And I love it. I do think that I will repurchase that once I start working through some of the other concealers that I have. I do like that one. I do prefer the Better Skin over the regular Fit Me Concealer from Maybelline, but they're both good. The formula is almost the same. Honestly, they're it's very close. Man, I've got a ton of mascaras. I have my Wet n Wild Mega Wear. It's about time I have had this this one tube open for a couple months. I use this on my lower lash line. It's perfect for the lower lashes. It's got a small brush that's um, like, it's the same width, I guess, of a normal brush, but the bristles themselves are short. I should show you. Let me just show you. And I love this for the lower lash line. I shared this with you guys in my Best in Beauty for Eyes. That's what the brush looks like. It's a very tiny little bristles. They're short. I don't like this for the upper lashes. I don't think that it does much of anything for the upper lashes, so I don't like that. I have a tight line. Jeez, I have a ton of mascara. Can you tell that I've been collecting for a long time, like since I moved into this house? <laughs> um, the tight line full lash uh, three in one. I bought this over the summertime, and um, I actually like this stuff for the lower lashes. It's got a tiny itty bitty bitty brush. You can see barely even see. It looks like a thin little stick for the lashes but it does work well for the lower lash line. And if you wanted to, you could use this as a primer to regular mascara. I, you know, I have done that in the past and I remember discovering this many years back. I think it was like in 2013 when I discovered more IP Cosmetics products and tried more of their things out and really liked it, but I just, I like this for the lower lash line. I think that's what it, it's just better for the lower lashes. Another mascara. <laughs> um, the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I go through mascara like crazy because I like to layer it up and do a couple coats. This one, I don't know if you guys can tell, um, I don't think I use up everything, but the wand itself isn't completely saturated with product. So I think I may have gotten this as a free gift or who knows, I may have even purchased this minis. I don't know why. I don't think, I, I think this was like a free gift maybe because I do like this mascara and I have purchased it in full size and like it a lot. Um, I think I like the Tarte one better though, so I probably won't purchase this anytime soon. Another skincare product is the Paula's Choice Resist C15 Super Booster. It's a vitamin C serum. This is not so much of an empty. It's got 15% vitamin C, vitamin E, and ferulic acid, which is supposed to be very similar to the infamous SkinCeuticals um, CE Ferulic, which is $163 for the same amount. Um, yeah. 
super expensive. This one isn't too bad. I think it's like 50 ish dollars. Um, the problem with this is that this has pure vitamin C in the form of L ascorbic acid, which is very unstable. And unfortunately that doesn't have a very long shelf life. So this product will tells you on the back that it only has a three month shelf life. So you better get to using it if you purchase it because once it starts to turn kind of like an orangey, amber, yellow type of color, it has oxidized and no longer is effective on the skin, so there's no point in using it. And that's exactly what happened with mine. As you can see, it's turned yellow. Um, it may look completely fine to some of you, but when I actually bought this and opened it for the first time, it was clear. So when you use pure vitamin C in L ascorbic acid form, just know that it's not gonna last very long. It will oxidize the packaging is good so that's one thing that I wanted to share with you guys if you're looking for a pure form of vitamin C serum or treatment like this you want to make sure that the packaging is um, going to protect the product itself from the light light and air cause the oxidation process to happen fast on pure vitamin C and that's why you have it in a dropper form and there's a tiny little hole that the dropper fits through and then um, it has like some like a special built-in like stopper in the inside to help really with the air penetrating into the product which is going to cause the oxidation so just keep that in mind if you use this particular one just make sure you take it out give you put the three drops and quickly close it and seal it keep it in a room that has or your bathroom underneath the sink or in a drawer somewhere where the light is not going to hit it didn't use this enough to really say that it helped with hyperpigmentation and evening out my skin it could be the reason why I've been breaking out because I have another vitamin C serum that I'm using from Whole Foods it's um, a very clean vegan formula it could be the vitamin C that's causing me to break out, I'm not really sure. Or it could be the dairy that I've eaten after cutting it out. Um, so it could be one of those things and I'm sort of trying to figure out what it is. Um, but I do know that when I used this product, my skin was very, very oily. And I think it's because the vitamin E with the ferulic acid, it's more geared towards the drier skin types. Because um, the SkinCeuticals brand has a version for normal and dry skin, which is vitamin C, vitamin E, and ferulic acid, just like this. And then they have the CF floor, the Floritin CF, which is made for oily and acne prone skin. So it's two different formulas. I think this is just a little too intense hydrating for my skin. Two more things, two more things to show you. This little mini Gimme Brow from Benefit. Um, I got this little sample from a gal when I was visiting my sister in September, fell in love with it, made a video all about it, bought the full size. It works really great. I wear it in shade three, love this stuff. Can't be without it, cannot be without. Okay, so the last product is, um, it's in like three parts. I had to take it apart, which is kind of odd. Okay, so the product that I have is the Sunday Riley The Good Jeans. This is what it looks like. It's a beautiful glass bottle. I mean, like some really like really nice packaging from Sunday Riley, but of course, it comes with a very hefty price point. Um, the full size of this is I think 105, 110. And it's an all-in-one lactic acid treatment to brighten, exfoliate, plump the skin, uh, even hyperpigmentation increases circulation for instant radiance. Now, um, I had an issue with this because well, the cap is so disgusting. I'm not going to show you guys that. Um, because once you get to a certain point, there's not much that comes out. And I kept trying to unscrew this cap, this little pump. And I kept thinking, why isn't this working? Like, why can't I get this out? And you want to know why? It's because the product itself is put into like this little plastic pouch that's put in there and then they use a machine to fill it so as you can see I had to like actually cut it to get the last bit of it out because I wasn't gonna let any of this go to waste and I did leave enough that was probably like two two days worth of product that's left in there but I bought this I think it was like 80 bucks for this and the Sunday Riley um, the Luna sleeping oil and I haven't used the Luna oil that much to really say I'm afraid to try it because I don't know how that's gonna make my skin react but um, I did notice that this does help with the evening of my skin tone. But I will say that this did help minimize that slight kind of rosiness that I have. It, it's not bad what I, what I have. I don't feel like I need to buy products to fix that. I can deal with it. I just would rather be concerned more with the acne that I get. Um, I didn't really necessarily break out a whole lot when I was using this, which is a good thing. I may have had one or two here and there. Um, it's a really nice product. I didn't really feel a burn or a sting with it. I'm kind of on the fence because, again, this tiny little amount lasted me about three months, which is not bad. Um, but what this is, this is a 15 mil bottle, so 0 0.5 ounces. It says use two to three pumps um, in the morning for maximum results. I think that three pumps is way too much if you're gonna buy this product to make it last a little longer. 
Um, you could use this morning and night. I use it only in the daytime. I, I like it. I don't know if I'm going to go back to it though. I would rather spend my money towards medical grade skincare that can, you know, work faster and it might be a little bit better. I don't want to knock Sunday Riley really for those of you who like the brand or knock the products because I didn't, I can't say that this product caused acne or made my skin bad or anything because it didn't. I just haven't, I don't have enough product to really say, oh my God, this is a game changer. I don't know about spending $110 on this type of product, one serum. If you've tried it, let me know what you think. Let me know if you have acne prone skin, if it worked for you. Um, I was really pumped about this thing because everybody was talking about it and it seems to be something that people raved about, but it is a very expensive brand. I'm not going to lie. Their oils are expensive. Their, you know, the Sunday Riley, the sleeping oil is like, I think 105. So it's, it's, it's up there in price. Um, so just know that if, if you get this little mini, you may have this situation happening. I don't know if they've rechanged, if they've repackaged, but I bought this in August and um, it lasted me about, about three months or so. All right, so we are done. Finally, I am so hot. These lights are just like, it's like three big soft boxes. It's like putting your, your hands and your face up to like, a heater it's like it's just hot um so that is it those are all of my empties for now if you guys like this type of video let me know by leaving me a comment or a like a thumbs up on the video so that I know to start saving up my stuff but I'm so glad that I can finally ditch all these empty products and um, get rid of this because I was tired of looking at it in the closet so I will collect more products as I use them if you guys are interested in seeing these types of videos I hope that I wasn't rambling too much about any one product or that I wasn't talking too fast. I was trying to get through this because it's a lot of stuff. Thank you so much for spending some of your day with me today. Don't forget to subscribe if you are a subscriber. Thank you so much for subscribing, for the love and support. Thank you so much for being you. I love you very much and you can follow me on social media if you'd like, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. It's all listed in the description box. Have a fabulous weekend and I will talk to you very soon. Bye-bye.